Uh, g'day guys, back again. Um, gee, I'm losing count, I think it's number nine. Uh, just thought I'd do a reasonably quick video um, explaining the difference uh, between the 100 um, night latch and 100 rim compared to the 201 night latch and 201 rim. Um, this is the actual lock I sort of showed before. Uh, it's the old 100 uh, night latch. Uh, back in the day, what came with that lock is actually a 100 night, uh, rim, rim cylinder. Um, this is a 100. Um, obviously, it's just yeah, inline pin tumbler lock, nothing special about it, but um, the actual body design, it's a really, yes, yeah, I wouldn't say cheap version, but a really yeah, Min minimal um, bodied uh, rim cylinder. It's probably made of a zinc alloy of some composition. Um, but that's a 100 uh, rim uh, rim uh, cylinder, which would go with the 100 uh, night latch. Um, this one, um, this is one I've actually taken off a door when I've upgraded the lock, so uh, it's only probably better, I don't know, not even a year old. Uh, this is the 201 uh, Lockwood, um, different span, uh, it's got that little safety, you know, lock, deadlock, a uh, little switch on the inside, so, which gives you that function of uh, deadlocking the latch, uh, and, it can, and unable to from the outside turn the cylinder to operate the lock so that's a um, 201 rim uh, yeah night latch um, this is actually a 201 uh, rim cylinder uh, totally different uh, brass heavier more sturdier um, and that's what came, what probably pretty much stayed in production after they the uh, 100 series sort of uh, yeah, became obsolete uh, so that this one stayed in production for a, for a long time even to the mid 2000s uh, uh, but like I said that we go with the, the uh, 201, uh, 201 uh, night latch so that's the, basically the difference between the two cylinders uh, yeah one's a zinc uh, alloy type of uh, material uh, and the 201's are actually brass um, funny thing well yeah I mean this probably would have been on doors in the in most Australian houses back in the 70s and 80s um, but what's as the Rabloy have gone come full circle um, they've actually <laughs> This is a brand spanking new one, um, probably, I don't know, probably not, not even five months old. But that's the 201 rim. But what's they look like? They've come full circle. They've gone back to the same one, uh, 100 um, rim cylinder design to keep the weight and the cost down in production. On the, well, I'm pretty sure that's what they've done, but uh, yeah, it just seems funny, you know. Probably this is probably you know 30 years old, I'd say, and this one's six months old, but they've come full circle. They're exactly the same, or reasonably close in design. So that's uh, yeah, uh, I'm not sure if that's the definition of irony or something. I'm not sure. Um, also, one. Got the video going. Um, um, this is just a kit. Gary uh, Remain was mentioned that it provided a uh, 234, 245 kit. I do, but unfortunately, because I've I use I used to use them quite often uh, back in the day. Uh, I've actually used most of the bits and pieces. I've only got some selective um, uh, parts left. Um, I'll try to pinpoint and explain what they are. These, these are the, these are for the 234 padlock. These go in the end of the uh, plug inside. 
they're an ant actually a uh, anti-manipulation like plate which uh, stops people from manipulating the uh, locking pole with a you know with a pokey device so to speak so they would go on the 234 uh, plug here I'll actually show you yeah um, that's a 234 plug oh, bloody damn. there we go anyway when that's put into the log body uh, that would go in in that position it's it's a, it's a security uh, little feature it saves some um, saves the log being opened uh, from being manipulated this is too short obviously but without that plate uh, if you had a long enough tool uh, at a specific angle you could actually um, where are we okay yeah. that's a 234 locking pull uh, you can get in there and uh, pry it yeah do that to uh, release the uh, shackle so that's the idea uh, of that um, little disc um, those are pretty much generic. Um, they're, ge they're actually the genuine logwoods uh, from the day. Uh, they're actually retainer pins for the 234 uh, shackle and core, but also you can use them for the 245s to retain the shackle. Um, these are just extra 234 plugs, six pin and five pin. Uh, there's two of those. 245 uh, locking balls um, yeah but I was discussing that on the in, in comments what the, what the actual composition of those were I thought yeah actually I'd said copper on the video because it that's the thing, first thing that came to mind I was had a bloody brain fart and couldn't think but uh, William Mansell was pretty confident that they were probably a bronze top uh, uh, ball but um, yeah it's up in the air with that it's probably a brass bronze mixture i'm not sure uh gary remain mentioned uh, a red brass or i think he said uh, i've not, never heard of that but yeah i could be wrong i'm not an expert on metals but that's the balls ah uh, uh, there's this you know skanky old body driver springs there's no worries that's the locking poles for the 234 and this return springs for those poles they're the actuators for the 245 and the 247. Um, they both use that at the end of the plug. Um, pretty much just brass stock, you know, cut in a factory to a certain length, and that, that uh, suffice to do the job. Uh, the 230. Oh, gee. Yeah, the 245 shackle springs. Um, these ones. Uh, yeah, these ones, these are genuine Lockwood from the 80s and 90s. They're actually the plugs for the chambers or uh, in the 234 and 245s. These are brand new. These are, you can't obviously buy them anymore from Lockwood. You can see the difference in the colour, the brass. Uh, the genuine ones are a, a dull brass. But the, this is lab. Uh, yeah, chamber. Chamber pins, uh, plugs. For the um, yeah, cha yeah, the chambers, uh, they're from LAB, um, which you can still buy, which is probably fortunate, I suppose. Um, oh, there's some odds and sods and drivers there. Uh, those are in the end caps for the 234 padlock. Uh, it covers the hole where the locking pull is exposed at. Um, Oh, what are they? I'm just trying to think. Yeah. All right, there are actual the plugs for uh, the shackles on the and the core holes on on the 234. But they also work on the 245 as well for the shackle. Uh, I don't know what these are doing in here, but anyway. Um, yeah, this this is genuine bloody dogwood from. 
probably 20 years ago, 20 years plus. They're actually rim cylinder. Um, yeah, that obviously is a, is a face plate that's pressed on in the factory to cover the uh, the, uh, the guts of the cylinder. Uh, yeah, but that's a seven chrome one uh, from Lockwood back in the day. I would never use that again. It's too much farting around putting that on the you know, the cylinder. So again, it's a keepsake. Anyway, that's pretty much the only kit I've got left uh, for those 234s and the 245s. So that's basically it. Um, one other thing. Yeah, I've actually had a good look in the shed, and I, I, do, I couldn't believe the actual amount of stuff I've still got from new old stock from a long time ago. It's, you know, these commercial grade stuff too, which you, you've purchased for a job, um, and for whatever reason, I mean. I mean, Bill Picardi could probably verify this too. He'd probably been through this hundreds of times. He would uh, uh, purchase a product for, for a certain job, which for whatever reason didn't turn out to happen or whatever. And instead of taking the, the product back to get a credit check, a uh, credit note, my thing was, oh, I'll keep it. You never know, I might use it, it come in handy. I'd no doubt yeah, be able to use it at some stage. But anyway, they end up getting forgotten about and put in a box. And uh, yeah, I've actually gone through some old boxes and got some. I'll actually do a, like a preview one time uh, if you're interested. But some uh, Lego Pacific, uh, Astra Lane, uh, Lockwood, some yeah, Lane Hardware uh, it, when they were owned by M Hart, um, FCO. But yeah, there's quite a few to show. But uh, actually, I've got it. Before I go, um, this is actually, um, this is not relevant to anything, it's just a, I thought I'd like to point it out. This is the, um, the genuine old stock FK from probably the 90s, uh, brand new, brand new with the cylinder. They came out of a um, FK mortise lock. I've got the mortars in this box somewhere. But uh, yeah, I'll just show them, this is stock standard. Um, see the bedding there. Focus. Oh, this bloody camera. Anyway, you get the idea. It's pretty basic. Nothing special to it. But this is an FK, you know, oval. Um, but the actual. Oh, come on. There you go. That keyway is absolutely. It's, it's severe. Um, you probably might get away with picking that um, if you had a shadow, you know, a reasonably flat key blade, uh, cuts in it. But if 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 you cut that to a Bill Bacardi bidding to suit that uh, cylinder, I would suggest that you wouldn't pick it. You wouldn't be able to pick it. It'll be pig proof. Reason being, you, you can see that um, the keyway. There's no way you can get a pick in there from to use as a fulcrum point from here to get to the pins. All you have is that point there, and straight away you can see the pins are nearly bottomed out on that. So if you had a um, number nine cut there, and a, well, I'm assuming and using the MAC at max rule. Um, say so two or three behind it you you wouldn't be able to pick it you would instantly set that first pin every time um, and like I said if you did that had a Bill Bacardi bidding bitted key on that on that cylinder just say for argument's sake if it was, oh, I don't know, it's a six pin so eight eight three nine three yeah or a seven and, and a two or something um, yeah, you'd be getting the drill out for sure. I, well, I would personally. I'm not saying it couldn't be done, but yeah, there's you, there's, there's not a, uh, a pick thin enough to to uh, uh, yeah work from that edge. It's just yeah, you can't. It's yeah, best you can get is here because of that warding there. So I thought that was interesting. That's um, 
stock standard uh, simple little label yeah but um, yeah I reckon, like I say, good luck you know, picking that with that. You better build Picardy bidding in that. So, I mean, if anyone wants to challenge, I'm quite prepared to send it out. I can, you know, I'm quite happy to put a build Picardy bidding on that key and send it out, and you can have a crack. But you know, I'm not saying it can't be done. It, you know, some a lot of great pickers out there, way better than me, I'm, I'm sure. But you know, if I come across that, I'll, I'll give it a go. But you know, I. Probably in the end, end up getting the old bloody you know, three eighths drill out and drilling the shear, uh, the shear line. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Uh, again, so thanks for watching if you are, and uh, until next time, uh, take care and uh, goodbye.